Hey there friends, in today's video we are going to be resetting this Netgear Universal Wi-Fi Extender to its factory default settings. Let's do it right now. So this is a pretty easy process. Let me just quickly show you the model number here for this specific Wi-Fi range extender. And again, a lot of these are gonna be pretty much exactly the same. Basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be pushing this little button that's over here. It says factory reset. You need to push and hold it for roughly 15 seconds. Now you do need to have this powered on when you do this. The other thing you might need is a little SIM card key. If you need a link for these, I'll put one in the description box below where you can get a bunch on Amazon. This kind of thing works the best for all of your factory resets on most of your devices. So we're gonna use this to actually get into this little hole and push down the button. So let's first go ahead and plug this into the wall and get the lights fired up and then we can do that reset. Okay, as you can see, we've got it powered up and we are on green right now meaning that it has connected to our other network. So at this point, it's a good idea now to go ahead and perform that function. Again, we're gonna find it on the right-hand side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my SIM card key in here, and I'm gonna push down, and we're gonna hold for, like I said, 15 seconds. So as long as you see those flashing, that's all you really need to do. We're ready to let go. That actually took a little bit quicker for me, maybe even as quick as five to seven seconds. So now you'll watch the lights. They'll do a little bit of a reset function here and then they are going to go to steady. Now at this point, the range extender has been reset to its factory default settings. We're gonna to have to get in here now and reconfigure it to our new router, or if you're gonna be selling this or getting rid of it, putting it to Goodwill or something like that, it's now ready to go. Friends, I hope that helps. If it has, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button. Let's just know we're making helpful videos and subscribe because we have a bunch more tech tutorial videos that are coming up really, really soon. Thanks for watching.